welcome to class. So a gentle hatha with some yin yoga and some yoga nidra. Um, I've uh, lit some candles today. I'm also going to be using the bowl, that sound, um, because in the yin yoga we'll be doing a little bit of meditation. Um, so to begin, if you've got a yoga bolster, you can grab one. If you don't, just the cushion, a pillow with a rolled up towel in the spine or a couple of pillows. Have another cushion and another blanket handy. Um, and then I'm sitting on a block. You could sit on a folded towel or a folded blanket, whatever you have handy. And then just bring the legs out wherever's comfortable. So sitting on a little platform just enables me to just tilt the pelvis forward slightly and then I can have my shoulders above the hips. And that, you can lean back as well against the sofa or against the wall if you like. And then we're just gonna rest the hands on your lap. And just notice the sensation of your sitting bones on the ground, the back of your legs on the ground. If you need to bring a folded blanket or a towel under your knees to relax the muscles of the legs, you can do that. So really just wiggle the toes, and be aware of the heels touching the ground. And then from here, just taking a couple of slow, deep breaths. So whatever you've been doing today, now for the next 40 minutes is a time to go within. So being aware of the space that you're in, bringing your awareness further into your little yoga space. You might have a mat or a carpet on the floor. And then perhaps allowing your eyes to rest down or close bringing your awareness inside your clothes, your sense of touch, and then inside your skin, the warmth of your body. And then maybe some awareness of the way that you're breathing. Maybe just come to rest one hand on the tummy and one hand on the chest. And notice how your breath moves both hands. So you can keep your hands where they are, or you can bring them back onto your lap. We're going to do a really simple breath practice. Noticing how your breath is naturally. And starting to slowly deepen the breath. So without force, without the shoulders or the face muscles getting involved, just a gradual, slightly longer inhale and exhale. And you're just gonna feel that natural lifting of the chest when you breathe in, almost like a tiny back bend. And then as you breathe out, there's that natural kind of sinking down, sense of releasing. And then all we're gonna do is add a moment's pause at the top of the inhale, just a couple of seconds, and then breathe out and add another pause at the end of the exhale. Again, just a couple of seconds. So carrying on with this, if it feels comfortable, just noticing any sensations that come up. If it doesn't feel comfortable, just stop, take your hands to the ground and breathe normally. If you're okay here, we do a few more rounds, maybe two or three seconds pause at the top of the inhale. And then two or three seconds pause at the end of the exhale. So as we know, just a simple breath practice can change 
very quickly, level of oxygen to the brain can help us to be a bit more relaxed. And this is a very gentle class today. So we're going to do a little bit of movement through the hips. And then we're going to do a couple of yin yoga postures, which will be like little mini meditation. And then at the end is a yoga nidra. So that will be about 15 or 20 minutes of guided deep relaxation. And that's why you've got all your stuff so you can be really comfortable. So if you're still doing the pause breathing, just maybe do one more round and then let it go. And come back to letting the breath be natural and just maybe notice if anything's changed. And then we're going to add some gentle movements. So you can bring your feet a little bit closer together or a little bit further apart if you've got any build up of sort of tension around the hip flexors or the thighs. And if they're okay where they are, point and flex the feet a couple of times. Wiggle your toes. So you might notice some clicks and cracks, you might not. Yeah, good. And then circle the ankles and wiggle the toes and notice how that movement affects the muscles of your legs. So do you notice what else moves when you move your toes? Good, so then we're gonna stretch the upper body. So lift your arms up as you inhale. Lovely, so we're gonna hold the arms there, but just soften the shoulders and then do the same thing with the fingers. Move the fingers, move the wrists. And then we're going to move the shoulders. So again, you can stretch up if you like, and then you can relax your shoulders and then find somewhere in between. So somewhere where it's a little bit active in the arms, but no kind of hunching up. And then just circle your arms around. Yeah, good. And then back the other way. And lovely. So now come back to the centre. Take the hands down through the midline. Interlace your fingers. Now lean forward, you can round the spine, relax the belly, stretch the arms forward, and then inhale, lift up. And we're gonna do a little side stretch. So bending the elbows, come over to the side. Maybe play with straightening out the arms. Maybe you start to yawn at this point as we stretch the intercostal muscles around the ribs. Back to the center, and then over to the other. So again, the elbows bend, and then maybe they straighten. Just have a play with it, see how it feels. And then come back up to the center. So exhale, take the arms out to the side. And this time we're gonna move, but from the waist. So flex your feet, have a bit of activation in the thigh muscles, lift your hands up, and then now we move from the waist. So all around. And as you come back, you might feel your tummy muscles switch on a little bit. And then as you come forward, you might feel your back muscles start to work. So you can keep it quite fluid, quite gentle, or maybe if you want a bit more power and strength, really reach and make it a little bit more dynamic. Yeah, good. So maybe one or two more like that, breathing as you go, noticing sensations in the whole body. And then come back up. Once again, take the hands down through the center. Interlace the fingers. This time, maybe keep the spine straight as you lean forward, flex your feet. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale with a ha down. Yeah, good, lovely. So we're gonna come forward onto the hands and the knees. I quite often have extra padding under my knees. I've got quite a thick blanket here, so you can add another blanket if you have sensitive knees. And we're not gonna be on the knees for very long, so if you do have sensitive knees, you can just come off any time and they'll join you there. So bringing the hands a little bit further forward of the shoulders and then maybe tucking your toes under, maybe not, just draw the hips back and then just bend one elbow and then the other. And then come back up again, plant the hands flat untuck the toes so move your knees back so just a little bit more space between knee, um, hands and knees and shoulders and hips and then bend the elbows lift the chest 
and lift the tailbone. And then as you exhale, curl the tailbone in and draw back to child's pose. So your head might not touch the ground, that's fine. You can use a cushion or you can just let your head rest. So we're going to do that again, a little bit more dynamic. So take the hands in a little bit, your knees are underneath your hips, bend the elbows again, lift the tail, lift the heart, and then exhale and draw back. But this time we're just going to draw back a little bit, feeling space across your upper back. Bend the elbows, come forward again, weight in the hands, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, curl and round back. We'll do that a few more times. Inhale, lift forward, spread the fingers nice and wide. Exhale, round and come back. Yeah, good. Once more, inhale, lift the tail, lift the heart. Exhale, down. Good. And then we're going to just get, take your left leg back behind you. Turn onto the right hand, turn the inside edge of that left foot down, and then lift your left arm up. Yeah, good. So you can stay here or you can really gently circle your arm around. Good. And then probably the most dynamic thing we're going to do today, if you like, is to lift the left leg off the ground. And if you want to make it stronger, lift your arms up and breathe. Good. <laughs> Lovely. So one more variation of this. Drop the foot back down again. Come onto the right fingertips and then maybe lift back up. So we're using your core strength your hips a little bit more, good. And then come all the way back down. You can take the knees wide this time, bring the big toes together, draw the hands forward and rest the head down. And if you're not all the way back, you can bring cushions underneath your bottom, underneath your head. Let everything relax. Come back to that place where the only movement is your breathing. And we're gonna do that on the other side. So we're coming back onto hands and knees. And now the right leg extends back, the left hand is under your shoulder, turning onto the side. You want your left knee under your hip and then lifting up. Yeah, good. So again, you can stay here. You can circle this arm around, nice and gentle. Does it feel different on this side? Most of us have got one arm stronger than the other. So coming back to the centre again, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can lift that leg up, maybe point and flex the foot. And then if you want to go a little bit further, drop the foot back down, come onto the fingertips. So now the weight is in that centre and then maybe lifting that leg back up again. Again, this is the most dynamic thing we're doing today. So if you really want to use a bit of power, muscle strength, go for it and then calming down, well done. So some of you might like to come into downward dog, stretch out the legs, or just come back into child's pose again, rest in your head. You can have your knees wide and your arms forward, or your knees together and your arms back, whatever you feel more relaxed. So slowly we're going to make our way into a couple of yin yoga postures and these can be like meditation. I'll talk a little bit and then I'll stop talking and give you some space. I'll play some sound. So I've got a couple of cushions here. I've got my folded blanket um, and we're, the key thing, you've probably heard me bang on and on about for years, <laughs> is we're all different. So when I give you these choices and these options, you're gonna modify it for your body. So what feels right for you? So we're coming into a zigzag shape, first of all. We've got the right leg in front and the left knee bent. Now, if this really doesn't work for you, if you take your knee back like that and there's any issues there, if you've got some knee challenges, you can take that left leg out in front of you and use cushions for the right knee. If you're okay with that leg back, I'm going to bring the knee towards the foot, so this foot is quite close to the hip. And then there's a natural kind of turn here. This hip sort of wants the body to go that way. So we're going to come around. You do use a cushion underneath that right knee. That will help to relax the right leg. And you might also want something supporting this shin. 
yeah, if you're quite sensitive ankles. So bring the left hand across to the right leg. Maybe just lift your right arm up for a moment, circle the wrist, take a big breath in. And then take that right hand back. So it's a gentle twist. You can drop the chin down and take the eyes round. Keep breathing. Relax the belly. And you can slowly round again to the centre. And then just being mindful of this hip, we do a little counter twist so you can kind of relax the tummy so there's not pressure on that hip. Right hand comes to the left leg. And then we're going to come forward, just changing the position of the feet slightly. I've got my kind of bolster fat pillow with extra padding in there. So I'm going to take the right foot out a little bit. So we've still got right angle with this leg, the knee and the ankle are happy. And I'm going to take my left leg back a little bit. So some of you might be straightening that leg out, and coming forward, or you might keep it bent. So again, you're going to check in with your hips, with your lower back, where, how does it feel? So coming down, again, really up to you. You might want to pop your elbows there. You might want to come forward and then just relax. So we're going to be here for a little while. So again, if you need to add extra cushions under your ankles, under your hips, you don't have to come forward. You can stay like this. It's absolutely fine. Just flex your feet and then relax the joint. So we're going to focus now, once again, within to your breath. The thing with yin yoga is it's the quiet, unseen, intuition elements. So yang yoga we might consider being about muscles, about power, about movement. Yin yoga is about yielding, it's about faith, patience, trust. And now perhaps a sense of giving your weight down to the ground as you exhale. And I'll give you the choice here before I be quiet for a couple of minutes. Now you could just let your breathing be completely natural, just a flow of breath. You could use a simple mantra for your meditation. I am, I am here, I am enough, whatever works for you. Or you could bring your attention to your breathing and just allow your exhale just to trail out a little bit longer than your inhale. So you could do this just intuitively, trusting, having faith. Or if you're someone who likes counting and numbers, maybe count the seconds or the beats of your inhale and add an extra couple of seconds or beats for your exhale. And this will just allow us to relax into the ground. You can slightly adapt or adjust if you need to so there's no pain in the body. Go deeper by straightening out your back leg and leveling out your hips. Or you can just be exactly as you are. Perfect. Be still.
slowly. Again, maybe keep your eyes half closed so all your attention is inside your body. Come up gradually, bringing that left leg around, go as slow as you like. Sometimes we really feel the yin on the way out. <laughs> and then just coming to lie down and relax on the ground. You might want to stretch your legs out and just let the body soften, feeling the blood flow and maybe in your hip joints. Sometimes it feels a bit like if you have acupuncture that you can feel the pathways fluid systems of your body. And we might stay here for a few more moments. So we might bring the feet to the edges of the mat and just let the knees sway over to the left. And then back to the center and then over to the right. So if you want to do that same little sequence on the other side. So bringing your left foot towards your right knee, bending your right knee back. Again, if that knee, if this knee doesn't go, you can keep it out straight. And use a cushion on this left knee just so I can relax the thigh muscle, tucking that right foot in next to the hip. And then naturally my body kind of wants to go like that. So I'm taking the right hand around and that left arm just yawns up into the air and then comes back behind us. It's a gentle twist. It's always with a twist you can bring your awareness inside your rib cage. See how that feels. And slowly coming back to the center with a counter twist. Coming into our meditative yin posture. So again, I'm going to bring my left foot out and then I'm coming forward on a diagonal in front of that left shin. My right foot comes out and again, some of you might be turning that hip and coming forward like that. And again, for some people that works, feels really nice. Just make sure that you're not kind of holding tension, anything off the floor. So if you're kind of there, but not quite, maybe bring a cushion so that you're fully supported. Uh, so each joint, again, you can flex your feet and then relax them. And perhaps again, a simple mantra, all that extended breath. So really quiet for a couple of minutes so that you can really get in there. And if your mind is very busy, that's natural. That's what minds do. So give yourself a break. Be patient. Use a simple mantra. I am here. I am enough. Or whatever word or phrase works for you. Maybe it's inhale, exhale.
staying inside your body as you slowly move. Taking as much time as you need. And then I'll just show you a comfortable position that you might like to take. You might have your own variation. I'm going to come to deep relaxation. So I've got a folded blanket, which I'm going to have behind my head. And I've got these cushions I'm going to have for my forearms and, and wrists, just slightly elevating the hands. And then this cushion, I'll be sitting up during the nidra, guiding you through, but just to show you, maybe cover yourself with a blanket if you're going to, you're going to stay still. So bring an extra layer. And what you might want is a, um, a light scarf or an eye pillow over your eyes. And when I teach this in the studio, we have sandbags and hand weights and all kinds of things. And what you can do with your cushion, if, with your blanket, so Helen Ross taught me this, it's genius. You just fold the edges of the blanket in and then, I don't know if you can see that, when you lie down, you just kind of wedge it in and then it feels like almost like someone's kind of holding your shoulders and allowing you to, to relax down and then if you need an extra cushion under your back I really like the cushions for the elbows and the wrists it just kind of slightly externally rotates the shoulder and just oh, <laughs> completely relax so get really comfortable. Relaxation is self-care. Rest is self-care. This is important. And once you're in your most comfortable position, you're going to choose a simple statement that begins with I am or I have. It's an inner truth. There's something that you know is true. It might be a particular quality that you have or that you're cultivating more of. Or it might be a word, I am light, I am love, I am peace. I have strength, I have compassion, I have patience. Just choose something that resonates with you. And once you're still and warm and really relaxed, just hear your own voice in your head. Repeat the statement in the present tense three times. And then allow your body to completely relax and notice the rise and fall of your breathing. And bring your awareness to your left hand, palm of your left hand. And relax your left hand your left thumb, index finger, middle finger, fourth finger, and little finger. All of the fingers and thumb on the left hand and the left wrist relax. Left forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder. Left side of the torso, left hip, left buttock, left thigh, knee, calf, ankle, foot, top of the left foot, heel, the sole of the foot, arch, ball of the foot and the left big toe, the second toe, third toe, fourth toe and the little toe. Relaxing all of the toes on your left foot, bringing your awareness to all of the toes on your right foot the right big toe, second toe, 
third toe, fourth toe, and a little toe. The sole of your right foot, arch, heel, ankle, calf, knee, thigh, buttock, right hip, right side of the body, right shoulder, upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, hand, back of the hand, palm of the right hand, and the right thumb, index finger, middle finger, fourth finger, little finger, all of the fingers and thumb on the right hand. Bring your awareness to the whole right side of your body. You allow the whole right side of your body to release, relax and let go. Bringing your awareness back over to the left side of your body. You allow the whole of the left side of your body to release, relax and let go. When you're aware of the back of the body on the ground. When you're aware of the front of the body. Do you rise and fall of the breath? And bringing your awareness to your whole face, to your forehead, brows, eyelids, cheeks, jaw, chin, mouth, tip of the nose space in the centre of your forehead, crown of the head, scalp, back of the head, ears, whole face, whole head, whole body, from the top of your head, all the way down to the soles of your feet, completely relaxed, just a rise and fall of the breath. When you're aware of your whole body feeling heavy, heavy on the ground, your feet feel heavy, your legs feel heavy, also feels heavy, your back, your arms and your hands feel heavy, and the back of your head heavy on the ground, and that sense of heaviness allowing you to deeply relax. sense of lightness in your face, in your chest feels light, your arms start to feel floaty and light, your fingers feel light, there's a lightness around the tummy and the hips, and your legs start to feel light. a lifted, floating sense of lightness in your feet, in your toes. Your whole body feels light and lifted, floating. mind's eye, some images, some colours and shapes, a yellow triangle, red earth, 
blue sky, green fields, an orange, a silvery moon, a rocking chair, an elephant, fluffy white clouds, snowy mountains, yellow spring flowers, children playing, sailing boat, the horizon across the sea, and a warm pink sunset, the sky mauve, blue, orange and pink, a beautiful horizon, a warm pink sunset. aware of your whole body on the ground. You're aware of the rise and fall of your breath. You're aware of your sense of touch, temperature, sound of my voice. And very slowly beginning to deepen your breath. Whenever you feel ready, maybe wiggle your toes. And then take your hands slowly back onto your body, one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest. Feeling the breath move both your hands. And then remembering your present tense, inner truth, I am or I have statement. Hear yourself once again, repeat the phrase clearly in your head three times. And then whenever you feel ready, whatever way feels natural, you can have a stretch out. You might like to switch me off and go back to sleep. Or you might like to uh, have a little stretch, roll onto your side, and you curl up there for a few moments, not quite ready to move. And once you're ready to come to a comfortable seat, you can close your practice for a few moments of meditation if you like. Or we can close the practice together by taking the arms out and then together down to the third eye. We give thanks for having an open mind. And then down to the heart, which is always forgiving, generous and compassionate. And bring your hand to the ground. We give thanks to Mother Nature for another day. Thank you so much for joining me. Take it easy.